The first time I wore this choker, I sneezed and it broke, so I had to fix it real quick for this video. Hello, my beautiful homo sapiens. It's been not even a week, I don't think, and I'm back, so I'd like to say that we're making progress. Now, given it is only the second week, so I guess we'll see from here on out. I just have this newfound unhealthy obsession with the show Beauty and the Beast, which is so good. So do yourselves a favor and please go watch it. I'm on season three right now and I started the show literally like last week. It's so bad. But listen, listen, I'm the, on the only thing I regret is that there's only four seasons and I'm literally on season three. So I'm, I'm crying. I'm watching it and crying and like loving it and like hating myself for like consuming the episode so quickly, but like I can't help myself. So get on watching them. This week I thought that I would do a video on something that plagues my fellow sisters, um, and it was really just struggles of being a black girl. And like I'm not trying to be like, OMG, I hate being black so much, ha <laughs> ha Like literally, black is beautiful. And like, it, t it took me some time to like, come to terms with that because like everywhere you look, like it's just like white people, which is... I mean, welcome to America. Being black's chill, but like there are some struggles that come with it. Before we get into this video, I just want to make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It really helped me out and I'd love to grow this channel a bit more. This video is really just, it's like petty struggles. It isn't real struggles. Like I'm not talking about the racism or the colorism or as a girl, the sexism or the struggle that our ancestors went through. But hey, the civil rights movement happened. So that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's get on with the video. Struggle number one, the whole thing is like, OMG, is that your hair? Like. I mean, honestly, it might be. Honestly, it might not be, but really it doesn't like concern you at all. And really when you think about it, it is my hair because I bought it with my own money. So like, yes, it's my hair. It didn't grow out of my head, but it's my hair. Like really just don't ask people this. Like I don't understand what the whole thing is. Like the whole curiosity for people to know whether it's your hair or not. Like if you're white and I asked you, was that your hair? I would get looks like, yeah, of course it's her hair. Like, so like, listen. Uh, stop thanks and also okay this is one that I've never been like unlucky enough to experience but it's the whole you're pretty for a black girl thing like why can't I just be pretty you're saying that basically like I'm black so I'm supposed to be ugly but OMG she's pretty so how dare she like I'm sorry now given I've never been called pretty for a black girl so like I can't like personally attest to this but I'm annoyed for people saying it to other people so just stop stop with the hate man stop with the pretty for a black girl like it really doesn't need to happen like I can just be pretty, period. The next struggle, I guess, is like the stereotypes. Um, there are so many. Now given black people aren't the only group with stereotypes surrounding the race. I mean, white people like the basic Starbucks girl, then there's the Asians who love rice, and then there's the Hispanics who are really cheap. Is that what it is? They love beans? I don't know. I really, I'm not versed in my stereotypes, okay? I just know that the stereotypes are that black people love watermelon. Not gonna lie, I love watermelon. They love fried chicken. Well, I'm a vegetarian, so that one's out. Are always angry. The thing is, if I'm angry, I probably have a very good reason to be angry and are loud. I'm a loud person, so that one might be true. My dad's a lot. Mm, uh, uh. Yeah, my whole family's loud, so that one actually might be true. But. What I'm trying to say is that some people let these stereotypes cloud how they view me as a person. Like, just because I'm black doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be... What is it? Like, what's the new stereotype? I really don't know. <laughs> Another um, struggle that that we face, really, it, it, it's becoming kind of like more of a problem or maybe it's not i don't really know like the whole natural movement happened slash is happening whatever um and i'm saying like i'm like bringing this up because like the whole touching of the hair doesn't happen if my hair is relaxed because you know like when my hair was relaxed no one felt the need to touch it but i'm natural now and now Everyone wants to get a piece of it. It's so confusing. Okay, it's really not that confusing because my hair looks like pretty good all the time. So actually that's a lie. Ooh, hoo, 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 let's not go there. Story time. I went to school one day 
and I had chorus first period and my hair looked so good and I know it looked good because I spent time on that braid out so like literally I did I, I did it that morning and I was like ooh girl get it so then like your girl was looking good right she goes to school and then I'm in my first period chilling singing because it's chorus class and this girl a fellow sister literally comes up to me and goes oh your hair looks so good and I was, I was ready I was ready to be like oh thanks so much but before I could get the words out, her hands, literally, both of them went into, <laughs> into the hair. <laughs> and I was like, oh, just standing there as she examined my scalp, really. Um, and I was like, this isn't happening. Like, you, wait, you know how they have those like signs in caves or whatever that are like, don't touch the rocks, don't touch the caves. I really shouldn't need one, but it appears that I, I do because people just don't seem to get the memo. Like if I went up to you and started yanking your hair, there would be looks given. So please just stop. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned some things or honestly, like if you're a fellow black brother or sister, you were like, girl preach because I'm not wrong when it comes to these things. I know because I have 16 plus years of experience. <sighs> Whew. I got a little heated, I'm sorry about it. Um. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do, it's fine, we can wait. Okay, I'm glad you did it. Um, also give this video a like, and comment down below any stereotypes or struggles that you face within your race, or community, or ecosystem. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.